really excited about talking about a new item that I recently purchased and this is a mossy oak bottom land satchel made by Glenda Green of North Carolina. I've been a vest hunter, a vest wearing turkey hunter uh, for the past 25 plus years. Ever since I was a kid, turkey hunting a vest has always been the way that I've carried my calls and gear into the woods. I think that's going to change this year uh, with the purchase of this item here. Uh, it's a 600 Cordura nylon uh, material, very durable, very well made. It's got a shoulder strap so you could uh, uh, toss it over your head, carry it uh, like that. When you unsnap this bag and open it up onto the inside, <coughs> you're going to have multiple pockets here uh, ready for you to use. Uh, this one here already has some uh, uh, loops here for you to be able to slide shotgun shells in if that's what you're wanting to put there. Uh, but I'm a pot call guy, so I'm going to, instead of putting my shells there, I want to show you how many pots I can put into this satchel. There's pot number one, two, three, and four. I've also got a pocket for a fifth pot call, but I'm going to put a trough into that one. I've got three slides right here with a nylon cord here as a holder, and that's going to be able to slide in strikers and hold them in place. So there you've got three strikers uh, right at your fingertips with your pot calls. Got another pocket that's right here. Uh, multiple different things that you can use with that. I'm going to put some scotch brite pads that I'm going to be using to condition my pot calls. So everything that I need for those frictions are right there. When you unzip the inside, you're going to look in and see that it is very cavernous. There's a lot of room there. There's pockets here that are spaced out just perfectly and made of the appropriate size to hold box calls. If you want to use a one-sider, they'll fit in the sleeve. I've had guys already ask me, will it hold a long box? Absolutely. A long box can go in that sleeve and it's deep enough it's going to hold it without sticking out. Matter of fact, you can put two long boxes in there if you want. You really like box calls? Maybe you want to use this as a way to be able to carry and transport calls uh, when you're going on an out-of-state hunt. There's enough pockets here that I can fit three more short boxes in this satchel as well. They go down, slide in, they've got their own pockets. Bam, zip it up, you're ready to roll. Obviously, most people aren't probably going to take six box calls with them to the field. Most scenarios, one's going to be enough. You might be in a situation where you're going to want to carry a long and a short box. And you can do that uh, very easily. You can leave those, those pouches for that room uh, for a multitude of different things. You can be able to slide a thermocell in there. <coughs> those of us that are running camera. Uh, my GoPro is going to go in one of these pockets along with my box calls. They have slide right in there in the bottom of this satchel. Uh, my small handy cam is going to fit in there. So I'm going to be hitting the field with a long box, my GoPro, my handy cam, and another short box. Those are all in there ready to roll. We just zip it up. Everything's there, not moving. Flip the satchel flat back over. The back unzips for a multitude of things that I can put there. What am I going to carry in that back zip up? Um, that's where I'm going to be putting my gloves and face mask. Probably a good place for a couple of mouth calls. <clears throat> and because I've already used the, the pouch that has the attachments for my shells, I'm just going to go ahead and put my box of Apex ammo right back here 
along with a range finder. We'll zip this up. This satchel, it's ready to go.